Hello everybody, this is Jury Duty Summons, and today I wanted to show you guys how to enable fraps in Dwarf Fortress. It's pretty easy, um, but it's something I had to do a little bit of research to to figure out how to do it. So I wanted to share that, what I've done, to, what I've found out. Um, so there you go. Um, you need to first navigate to where you put Dwarf Fortress at. In this case, I'm running with the Lazy Noob Pack because I'm a lazy noob. <laughs> so it's going to be under that folder and into the Dwarf Fortress folder. And then from there to the data folder. And there to the init folder. And then we're looking for the init.ini file. And so if, um, like me, you have INI files associated with Notepad, you can just double click on it. Otherwise, another way of doing it would be to, let me fix that right here. You can drag the file into Notepad and it'll open just fine. Okay. So we're looking for about halfway down. We're looking for a line marked, uh, let's say here, print mode. And there it is. So it says print mode 2D. So we want to change that to print mode standard. And that's it. Let me save it real quick and close out, and I'll show you what happens. <clears throat> Minimize that. We'll launch the Lazy New Pack, and we'll hit Play Door Fortress. <laughs> As you can see in the upper right hand corner, Fraps' favorite little um, little symbol from Fraps saying that it has control, or rather it can see it can see the window and it's giving me a frame rate. So that's exactly what we're looking to see right there. So that's all you need to do. It is possible that this is going to cause some issues here. Oops, wrong folder. <laughs> there we go. So if it does cause issues, all you gotta do is go back in here and switch it back to 2D. So if you are not planning on recording um, recording your gameplay with Fraps, I would not bother with switching this from uh, 2D to standard. It does have, it does cause, it can cause a little bit of slowdowns. Um, it even talks about here as this most reliable standard is good, blah, blah, blah. So, I've never had any problems with it, but it's not to say that you guys, you know, somebody out there might not. If you do have a problem, just turn it off and, uh, well, continue on. All right. If anybody has any questions, let me know. And um, I'll be back with more Dwarf Fortress play pretty soon. I'm planning on starting a new series, and so keep an eye out for it. Have a great day.